Hi everyone, it's Taylor again with A Barefoot in Balance. Today we are doing three sets of exercises. One is going to be with a dodgeball, one is going to be with a noodle, and one is going to be body weight. We're going through five exercises twice for each set. And we're just going to hop on right on into the exercises. So we are first going to need a dodgeball or if you have a kid's ball or a, a, a light weighted ball, any of those are gonna work. So what we're gonna do is start into a tandem stance. You're gonna put that right foot in front of the left. This is my shirt. And you can always put a chair beside you for extra stability. And what we are doing is going from side to side. Woo! Woo! Low and controlled, heel to toe, following that ball with your eyes. Stabilize those ankles. Keep going and rest. Next, we're going to do an adductor with a lat raise. Sorry, abductor with a lat raise. So, bouncing on that right leg, and we are coming up and down. Up and down, keeping that weight all on that right leg. All right, and begin. Stabilize that right ankle. You can always hold on to a chair if you need it right there. Keep going. And rest. Back into that tandem stance with your right foot in front of the left. We're doing a ball pass. So one hand is always down, ball is always in the air. Just like that. All right. and rest. All right, so now ball is in the left hand, or sorry, ball's in the, yeah, left hand. Keep doing it wrong. Ball's in the right hand, you're gonna be hitting the left knee, so you're bouncing on that right leg. So we're coming. So ball's in the right hand, bringing that left knee up for a high knee. Keeping all of that weight on the right leg, stabilizing that leg. Just tapping the left toes down, that's it. We're not shifting that weight there. Ball each time comes up above our head. And rest. All right, last exercise, balancing, and then we're going back through. Bouncing on that right leg, left leg is coming out, and that ball is in that right hand. So the ball's on the opposite side of the leg that's out. And we are holding that leg up. So from the side, you have that chair beside you. Balancing just like that.
There we go. All right, back up to the top. Okay, I'm standing for that ball pass. So now we're gonna have that left foot in front of the right foot. And a ball pass. All right, passing that ball side to side, watching that ball with your eyes. You can always slow it down or speed it up to your liking. And rest. Adductor with the lat raise, balls in your right hand. Right leg is going up. You are balancing on the left ankle. Stabilize that left ankle. Get that leg and arm up there. And rest. Back to our tandem. Left foot in front of the right, with that ball pass overhead. And have that chair beside you, if you need it. All right, ball is always staying in the air. Stabilize the ankles. And rest. Hand to knee. So that ball is in the left hand, up high, touching the right knee. Tapping the toes down, we're keeping all that weight on that left leg. Fully extend that arm up each time. rest. Now balancing on the left ankle. Ball is in the left hand. So we're going like this. So the ball is on the opposite hand of the leg that's back. The leg stays in the air. All right, so from the side, so look like this. Focus on stabilizing that ankle. Ooh. And rest. All right. 
that's the first set or yep first set second set we're using that noodle so put that ball aside all these are done with our noodle take a little bit of a break in between tandem stance with our rainbow taps so right foot in front of the left and we're doing hold on so arm up touching the ground coming on up touching the ground hand always stays in the air and begin lowering down through the knees Touching the ground. If you're not able to touch the ground, get as low as you can. And rest. All right, we're back in that tandem stand still. Right foot in front of the left. We're doing a chest press. Hands on each side, and we are chest pressing the noodle. All right. Bring the shoulders back, keeping those elbows in. So we don't need them out like this. Feel the toe on that tandem stance. And rest. We got newspaper rolls, forward and backward. So we're in that tandem stance again. This For all the noodles, we're in that tandem stance with the right foot forward. Newspaper rolls, and we're rolling it up. Heel the toe, rolling forward, roll back, forward, back. Stabilize those ankles. Whoop. Forward. our hands with our eyes just like that all right so with having our hands do something while we're trying to balance can throw you off balance so we're working on that those ankles. Oh, make sure you have a chair beside you. Okay. Fix yourself before you go back up into it. Okay. And rest. <laughs> All right. Next one. Last one in this set. And we'll go through it again. Tandem stance. Hands on each end of the noodle. Starting at our thighs to overhead. Nice big raise over our shoulders. All right. Try to get those feet as close as you can, heel to toe. 
Working on that ankle strength here. And rest. All right, back up to the top. We've got those rainbows. So now we're switching that left foot as our lead foot. Bring that in front. We've got those rainbows. All right. Remember, hands always in the air. We're lowering through our knees. Not our way, so nothing like this. Staying up nice and tall. Bending the knees to get lower. Hand always stays in the air. And rest. All right, got that chest press with that left foot in front of the right. You can always have that chair beside you. And begin, chest press. Fully extend through the elbows and bring it all the way back to our chest. Make sure those toes are pointed forwards. Get them as close as you can. And rest. We got newspaper rolls. All right, roll forward. Reverse. Reverse. Ooh. Stabilize those ankles. Reverse. Ah! Catch yourself. <laughs> and rest. Good job. All right, two more. We got that vertical hand over hand, following that noodle with our eyes. And rest. One more with the noodle, the two-handed raise overhead. After this, we'll go on to the body weight, five more exercises, going through that twice, and then we will be done with our workout. Still got that left leg in front of the right. Hands on each end of the noodle, up above our head and down. Get over here so that light. 
fully extend those arms back. We're working on rotation here on our shoulders and mobility, as well as working on our balance with our ankles and legs. And rest. All right, put that noodle aside. Next, we just have our body weight. All right, so we got our three point tap. Starting with our, we're bouncing on that right leg. So it's the left leg that's doing the taps. It begins. So we got forward, side, back, forward, side, back, forward, side, back. Keep all that weight on that right leg. We're just tapping the left toes down. And rest. All right, toe point hold. Bouncing on that right leg. Left leg is in the air. So we're bouncing just like this on a single leg. All right, and begin. Focus on stabilizing that right ankle. Keeping those hands down by our sides. Pick a spot in front of you to focus on. And rest. All right, we have a leg extension toe tap. So we're bouncing on that right leg again. The left leg coming back and we're doing toe taps down. Keeping all that weight on that right leg. It's also is focusing on strengthening up those hip flexors. All right, so if you need, you can put a chair in front of you. But we are just tapping the toes down. If you want it harder, don't tap the toes down. Stay up nice and tall, so nothing going over like this. Stay up tall. Keep that knee as straight as you can. We're lifting from the hip. So we're not doing this. Lifting from the hip. Rest. All right, we got our temple pose. Bringing up that leg here with our hands here. It's a little bit harder with socks on. Um, it's easier with shoes or without socks on. So I'm actually going to take my socks off for the rest of this. Good thing we're on video because then you, you're far enough away you can't see my feet. And hands are right here. Hold on. Still easier with shoes on. You got better grip. So without socks on and with socks on, you're kind of more focusing on trying to keep this leg up more than anything so it throws your balance off. When you have shoes on, it's quite a bit easier to hold it there. And rest. Last one, we got our tandem stance with our eyes closed, hands on our sides. So right foot in front of the left, hands remain at our sides. 
heel to toe for that tandem stance. So we're just like this. Hands are going to be at our sides. Close those eyes. It's harder to balance if you close your eyes, so make sure you have a chair in front of you for this one. We don't need anyone falling. Or make sure you've got something to catch you if you start to stagger. Woo! See, I even have problems with this one as well. Try to keep those hands at your side. A little bit more challenging. Woo! And rest. All right, back up to the top. We have that three-point tap. So now we're bouncing on that left foot. Got the forward, side, back, forward, side, back. All right, begin. Forward, side, back, forward, side, back. Remember, we're just tapping the toes down. All that weight is on our left leg. Stand up nice and tall, so don't start leaning to the side like that. Tighten the core, stay up tall. Keep the shoulders low and back. You can always go slower. Good job, keep going. We're almost there. And rest, good job. We got that toe hold, so bouncing on that left foot with that right foot in the air, stabilizing that ankle. And begin. So when our ankle is wobbling, we are strengthening the muscles in our ankle. So you want to try and stabilize that ankle. I'm going to try to make it as still as possible, as best you can. And rest. Next, we have our leg extension toe tap. So we're bouncing on that um, left leg. Right leg is coming back, so we are doing those toe taps. All right, and begin. Again, we want to try and stay up nice and tall. We don't want to be coming down here. You can always use a chair to keep those shoulders back. Keep all that weight on that left leg. We're just tapping the toes down. Keep going. And rest. Two more exercises and then we're going to be done with our workout. Got that temple pose. So we're bringing up that leg, the hands in the middle. All right, bring up that leg, hands in the center. Focus on stabilizing that ankle. Remember, we're keeping the shoulders back and low. If you're able to, you can get that foot a little bit higher. It's easier if you have grips on your shoes to get a grip on there. Whoop. Try to stabilize yourself. Get back up into it. And rest. One more. Got that tandem stance. So we've got that right foot, in, or sorry, left foot in front of the right. Eyes closed, hands down by our sides. Remember to have your chair by you or 
whatever surface you're using to lean on for extra support. And begin, close those eyes. Kind of crazy how when you close your eyes, your balance just kind of disappears. So even though we're just trying to stand here, you're still gonna feel your legs start to wobble a lot more than what they would if you suddenly open your eyes. Shows how important our, eyes, our eyesight is to us. Ooh. And rest, all right. So we're gonna do some stretches with the lower legs. So we're gonna get down to the ground. I'm going to put my socks back on. And we're gonna stretch out those legs. We're just gonna do a quick run through them. All right, bring that right leg forward. And then reach for it with both hands. Now we're gonna incorporate both hands by incorporating that left hand. You're gonna feel that stretch down that left hand side into your lower back, into your hip flexors. And switch. Put them together. Bring those feet in together for butterfly hold. Hold those feet, lower the knees down to the ground. All right, crisscross applesauce. Extend those hands forward, let the head dangle. Come on up. All right, so that's going to be it for our barefoot and balance class today. So what you're gonna need is a noodle and a ball. So you can use almost any type of ball that you have. Even if you have like a circle pillow or a small pillow, you can use that as a substitute. For the noodle, you can use anything from a stick to a ruler to a yardstick to a golf club, um, a small broom, a duster anything to kind of get that textile in there. So I hope you enjoyed this class and I'll see you next time. Thanks and goodbye.